The Super Bowl is this weekend and you're invited to your friend's party. She has everything. Like-minded friends, a big-ass flat screen, and a smorgasbord of food. However, in the middle of this cholesterol cabaret lays the ruiner of good times. Store-bought ranch dressing. Yeah, I know it's not actually there, just go with it. The bland dairy-based product, for some reason, isn't sold in the refrigerator section. Let's make one that spoils easily. Now, in a medium-sized mixing bowl, add in half a cup of buttermilk, half a cup of mayonnaise, half a cup of sour cream, whisk all the wet ingredients together, then add one tablespoon of chopped chives, one teaspoon of chopped parsley, half a teaspoon of dried dill weed, a quarter teaspoon of granulated onion, a quarter teaspoon of granulated garlic, one eighth a teaspoon of salt, One eighth a teaspoon of black pepper. That's right, folks. The Jontron pepper grinder is back. Eleven months later. Mix everything together. Once everything is mixed together, cover our bowl in saran wrap, stick it in the fridge. If I can find room. Leave it in there for four hours, that way the flavors get to know each other. But overnight would be better. Now that you know how to make ranch dressing from scratch, your Super Bowl party is saved. Provided the LA Rams don't figuratively or literally drop the ball this year. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. This has been a presentation of Chase Cut and Kitchen. Enjoying the video without liking, subscribing, or sharing is strictly prohibited and punishable by law. And by law, we mean that CRJ will creepily stalk you until you subscribe to him.